So would you please tell us your name? Walter Albert, Jr. And when did you attend Susquehanna? Came in as a freshman, September 1951, and graduated May of 1955. I started in liberal arts, history major, and switched my junior year and got my degree in business administration. When I came to Susquehanna, the student population was approximately 550 total, including some commuting students. Wow. My freshman class was 110. When you came to Susquehanna in those years, you went through freshman hazing up till Thanksgiving. Freshman hazing included freshmen being identified with a dink so that upper class persons could ask you for any assistance that they might need. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and freshmen were obligated to respond to any senior class junior member if they requested you to run an errand, mm -hmm. carry their books, uh, do menial tasks, okay? That's what the freshmen were obligated to do. This was the classic Susquehanna tie Ooh. from 1955. Is that meant to be like a globe? Yes, that was the school symbol back then oh, from nice. the date of origin, 1858. Mm -hmm. That was the logo. That's the historic one, dating the beginning of the school. The beautiful thing that I found about Susquehanna in those years was the school being so small, you got to know everybody. Yes. Yeah. Seniors, juniors, everybody. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons was you had formal dining in Cybert Hall. Ooh. Yes, no cafeteria. Okay. So you had lunch and dinner in Cybert Hall. Freshmen were assigned tables mixed in with sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And every four weeks, your table rotated and you met new people. The other thing I brought that I saved was this wall flannel. You bought it at the bookstore. Okay. With a hang in your room or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what's happening today with diplomas. But the diplomas back then were in Latin on sheepskin. As a result, I had to have my Latin professor translate it for me. And the other thing that was very common in those years was two-thirds of the students were on working scholarships. I mean, everything from helping with athletics to library duty to being a dishwasher on campus to being a server in the dining hall, mm -hmm. to doing maintenance work with the maintenance team, mm -hmm. anything that could be done that the school didn't have to hire somebody to do it, you would get half your room and board uh -huh. for a scholarship really? if you worked on campus. That's a good deal. It was a good deal. My first year room board and tuition, because I wasn't able to get a scholarship my first year. Mm -hmm was a thousand dollars. Now how do you relate that to today? It's up to fifty two thousand, fifty five thousand yes. now? Yeah. Wow. That that's tough for me to comprehend, but it's all relative to income. So my one of my best buddies and I, after our sophomore year, we we had joined the fraternity and we put our names in and we were selected to be dishwashers. So I went from dishwasher on campus for two years <laughs> to dishwasher at the fraternity house for two years okay. so I could afford to live at the Pratt house. Wow. My wife said to me, you're a good catch. You minored in dishwasher. I'm going to marry you. <laughs>